Hey, hope everyone's doing well. Another edition of the Chronicles of E coming at you. It's a little late tonight, but just got returned home from work. And um, I will say, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a little perturbed tonight. I'm driving home from work tonight. Um, I encountered what's called the Horn Warrior. You know, that's right, the Horn Warrior. And you don't want to be this person, ever. Uh, I pull up to the light. There's a car in front of me. Um, the light is red. I get this guy. He pulls up to the back of me. Okay. Light turns green. The car in front of me doesn't exactly move right away. You know, maybe it took a couple seconds. What does the guy behind me do? He honks the horn. Not once. Not twice. Three times. Now I'm getting agitated because I'm looking at the guy in front of me and he's looking in the mirror giving me daggers. I look in my rear view mirror and I see this guy, he's just, he's just like this. He's agitated. He's gripping the steering wheel. He's cursing. It's not me. It's the guy in front who's not going. But now the guy in front thinks it's me who's honking the horn. Now I'm a patient guy. I'm not, I, I'm, I very rarely you'll ever see me honk a horn. But no, you got Joe Clown over here, the, the horn warrior, getting all crazy and, and, and wanting to get traffic moving because it's all about him. You know, he's, he's, he's going to be the sheriff of the area and he's going to push people forward. So this guy, what does this guy in front of me do? Like any normal person who does, who's, who's annoyed at someone's, you know, being a little excessive with the horn. And something I would do too. He just starts going slowly through the green light. Now I'm behind him, so I'm now in the middle. I'm stuck between this feud. And this guy in front of me thinks I'm the, the culprit. This guy in back of me is just getting more agitated, so he's leaning on the horn again. Folks, excessive horn is not cool. All right, it's it's like the person who writes out a sentence is angry and uses 19 exclamation points to prove the point. You only need one. You only need one to prove your point. You don't need 19 exclamation points, and you don't need to honk the horn 15 times. We get it. A big man with a horn. You know. Anyways, the car in front of me continues to drive. I'm thinking, great, I'm going to lose you know, these two jokers in probably about a block when I take my left. Well, it just so happens the car in front of me was taking the same left, the very same left I was going. And he still thinks it's me who's honking on the horn. So I take my left. They say, well, at least I'll get rid of Joker Clown here, Horn Warrior. No, he's taking the same left. And that same left leads to a long road that you're going to be on for a while. And... Sure enough, the guy in front of me is now taking his time driving, and I'm fine with that, but there seems to be a lot of cars behind me now who are getting agitated. And and so what do I do? Just like any of you would do when you're, you're in that situation behind someone who's driving slow, and I'm not talking about passing. I'm talking about the old weave to the right a little bit so the cars behind you can kind of see the car in front of you and know it's that guy who's driving really slow and not you. So you don't get to a little you know, skirmish at an intersection or they don't start giving you the bird or the horn. So I move to the right. I see the car in front of me. So I move a little bit back to the left. This guy behind me is tailgating me. No one's winning here. I'm getting agitated. person in front of me is agitated. The horn warrior is going to town on his horn every five seconds. It was like a parade. We're going down the road. It was like a parade with this guy. We get to the next lights. Same thing. The guy in front of me then starts, you know, going slow again. He's proving his point. Now this guy in front of me is is the proving point man. He's 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 the the ego that says, you know, no, my pride's at stake. I, I'm gonna win this argument, and he still thinks it's me. I'm the quiet one out of this whole thing. They got me all wrong. So he's going through. Finally, we get to a point where it's a two lane road. Now I'm at a loss. I gotta pull up next to this guy, and this guy's gonna be staring me daggers. So I do what everyone else would do. You, you pull up just enough so you're kind of diagonal. Nah, it didn't work that way. This guy got the car in front of him, and we ended up lining up. And I could feel the the tension, the tension that he's staring at me, and he still thinks it's me. Meanwhile, I got Horn Warrior behind me. Light turns green. No longer did I put my foot on the gas. He's honking. Folks, I'm going to put up with this for 10 minutes. Horn warriors is what really bothers me. Don't be that person. Don't be that guy. I mean, uh, horns were invented for a reason, but not for that. 
You know, you're, you're, yeah, you're in a two-ton truck. You're a big man with a horn, and you feel safe about honking it. Everyone's hon honk happy. It, it, it drives me batty, you know? You know, you want to impress me? You want to impress me? You stick your foot out the window and wave it around while you're driving. That, that'll impress me. That'll get my attention. The horn. We've all been in that situation, whether we're, we've been the middle car and the person behind you's honking and the first car's getting angry at you, or you've been the first car and someone honks and you get startled a little bit or you get a little anxiety. You know, just let it go. Let it be patient and just go. No need to honk the horns. You know, maybe someday they'll invent a, invent a, invent a nice soothing horn. You no, know, the horns today are just really loud and obnoxious and annoying. Maybe that's why these annoying people like Horn Warrior like it. But don't be that Horn Warrior. Don't be that person who's going to lay on it. It's ridiculous. It gets you nowhere. It gets you fired up is what it does. You don't need to be sitting in that. You don't need to be put in that position. So don't be that Horn Warrior. Anyways, hope you're having a good week. Don't be the Horn Warrior. And remember, this is not the end of the program, or is it?